everyone welcome back to the channel so today is me doing my happy whip weekend <laughs> so this is a relaxed laid back laid back video it's normally something i've been working on during the week so it is normally a whip but today i don't have any whips um i finished a page off last night um so that doesn't need working on anymore um so i'm going to actually pick a page to start today um, and I'm going to pick a page from Ken Matsuda's lovely book. I've got paint all over my lovely white nail varnish. I should have spotted that then. Been, I've been activating my gouache because that's what I'm going to use today. So the page I've picked is the lovely koala page. And I've printed the reference off because I'm going to try and follow the colours. It won't be exactly the same but I like to use it as a guide just to, you know, I just like making them look like a watercolour like his so so pretty so this is the page um the gouache that i'm using is the airtex gouache this one this palette you can find it on amazon i didn't actually realize there was 18 colors i didn't realize there was that many colors in this palette but yeah there is so i have activated the colors in my palette the very very what i'll say about these style of gouache that i've got is they dry up when you've not used them for a time and then you have to you know put the water in to reactivate them um so they look very messy i mean i've got colors mixed in with, with my whites here which isn't ideal but i can i can work that out onto a separate palette um but yeah this, these are the colors i'm working with um they're really nice really nice actually so I have got a little cloth at the side of me so I can dab off excess water. I'm going to try and bring you in a bit more and we're going to have a chat. So I'm not going to really talk about what I'm doing. It's not a colour along. It's um, just a laid back what I've been up to type of video. Oh, what, what do you know from the week? <laughs> I think I've got to start with a koala which is going to be some... Um, Grey, which one's the black? That one, I think. Yeah, so I think I've got up to now. We're in the we're nearly in the middle of July now, aren't we? And I've only actually done so far one, two, three colouring pages. <gasps> it's gonna be a slow month again, guys. Slow month. But oh well. Oh well, I said I wouldn't put pressure on myself and I'm not. It's just, it's been a really busy week. Really busy week. Now let's get some of this grey in. Really, really busy week. The kiddies, but they break up soon for the summer holidays. I'm just going to switch to my smaller brush. Um, if you can hear traffic, I've got my window open. We're still having all the lovely heat waves and stuff here in England. Apparently it's going to reach just below 40 degrees on Tuesday, which is pretty rare over here in England to get that hot. So we're all going to be like, ugh, crying for some fresh air in our houses because we don't have um, air conditioning like some countries. And that's purely because we don't experience this sort of heat very often but when we do it's not nice <laughs> it's not pleasant I've just stuck my arm in the paint yeah, it's not pleasant but apparently it's going to be 29 degrees on Sunday it's going to be about 33 on Monday then 35 to 38 on Tuesday so I'm thinking of getting the paddling pool up in the garden for the kids but the only thing is the last time I put it up I remembered I didn't have the right attachment to blow it up with and I ended up doing it with my mouth and it killed me <laughs> it killed me off and I was like oh I'm gonna make sure I order a pump for next time I put this up have I ordered a pump no I have not ordered a pump so the sod's law is I'll be sat there on the floor going dizzy trying to blow this um, pool up <laughs> at the weekend 
We'll see, we'll see. I might get my partner to uh, see if he can find a pump before then. But we'll see. So I just wing it with watercolour, guys. I really do. I'm, I'm sort of... I just sort of splat the colour down anywhere and... Yeah. I'm going to try and leave a few whiter areas in, like... I'm going to leave that line in there, I think. Yeah, so I think my daughter... Well, two of my <laughs> daughters break up on the 20... First, 25th, yeah, 21st of July. I'm not sure about a couple of the other schools. I've four settings to keep track on, and I'm like, I know when two of them finish, but the other two, I've not got a Scooby Doo. I've not got a Scooby Doo glue. Um, when they break up, I need to find out, don't I? <laughs> I need to find out. That. Yeah, I think we're going to have to beat the zoo again, though. Like, they have six weeks off holidays, don't they? They have six weeks off, and the dad can only book a week off work. He's only got a week to book off work, so he's with us for one week, and then five weeks I've got him on my own. Which is going to be hard work. <laughs> so I think we'll beat the zoo for when he's off. I mean, um, go to the zoo again, I think. Because they really enjoyed that. Does anyone else like going to the zoo? What's your favourite animal? Well, we're colouring animals. I have a few different favourite animals. I have quite a few I like. Could have done with a clip for this book. It's peeling up when... Book's getting yeah, it's stuck. Yeah, I have a few favourite animals I like. Um tigers and lions. Um I like the look of lynxes as well, winter lynxes. I'm saying winter lynxes, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if they're actually just called lynxes, not winter lynxes. I said winter lynx because I've got a Diamond and Dark Club diamond painting called Blue Winter Lynx. <laughs> so I said winter lynx. Um, but yeah, I think they look quite nice and snow leopards. And then I really, really love sea turtles. I've got like a, um, a little soft spot for sea turtles. They're just so cute. It looks like, and I don't know why, and it was doing this on a page I was using it on yesterday. But for some reason, it looks like the paint's resisting the paper. Or the paper's resisting the paint, which is the right way round what you're supposed to say. But it's going really weird when I'm putting it down. Really weird. It was doing it yesterday as well when I did a page with it. Maybe I need to use a bit more pigment and less water, I don't know. Don't know. I like this white varnish though. I got. I don't normally get white because you have to put so many coats on to get it that bright white. But I got this. This one is it called Ese Ese? Don't know. I got this off Amazon, and it seems to be all right. Two coats, and it's like bright white on you. It's quite a nice one. They said wear white on your nails, and makes you look like. Your hands are tanned. <laughs> so I was like, yes, come on. I have noticed I've got a bit of a tan in this heat wave. Not much of one, but I wear t shirts. So um where the bottom of my t shirts have been, you can see I've got a line. I've got one of them lines. I was like, oh no. But I always burn, my shoulders always burn, so I, that's why I've kept them covered with my t-shirts. I've been like, yeah, I'm not I'm not wearing a vest top or a strappy top and get my shoulders out so they can burn to death. I 
think I'll just layer and layer this up obviously I'll put put the colour down first and then let it dry and then probably go in areas where I want to go in darker and then other areas you can take it away as well you can clean your brush off and take bits away if you want bits whiter clean my brush off now and just use the clean water to pull it through a bit so it's a lighter grey I think up here the nice thing about gouache i think is that you can you can really dilute it to how you want to use it like on this page I've really diluted it so it does sort of perform like a watercolour but if you just want to use it in more of its um, more firmer, firmer sort of consistency you can really get a bit more depth um, on your pages like I did a Mr Cat Mirrors page last night and you might have seen it on Instagram and I did some big circles in the background for the um, background decoration and it was going on more like acrylic paint with the thicker consistency um, so you can do, do use it how you want to use it it's really nice put a bit more dark here and round his nose, I'm going to make round his nose dark I think he's got a bit of blue on his nose as well. Right, it looks like there's a bit of indigo in there. Let's clean my brush off. Pull some of this into a light grey in the centre. And I'm gonna put some blue. I'm gonna pop a little bit of indigo there. Oh, it's running off with me. Let me grab that. Don't want it to run up there. Stay around here. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a little bit of a pinky bit of a pink white pop of colour down here. Oh, I should have left that to dry before I did that. That's where I pick it up. So what are you all up to? Has anybody got any holidays booked? I know the travelling <laughs> travelling isn't good at the minute with what I've been seeing on the news. Right, baggage going missing and all sorts delays so many delays we haven't been abroad well we haven't as a family since I was about 13 14 I think was the last holiday I went on abroad it was to Greece I can't remember which island it was Greece might have been Crete. Crete is Greece, isn't it? <laughs> Before I sound really stupid. <sighs> it's resisting this a little bit. It's hard to work with. Like this. I don't know why. Maybe I should have prepped the paper first. That might have been better to put some gesso down. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's get that. Fill in that white space. I 
Make this a bit lighter. I don't like that ring. <laughs> it looks like there's a ring around it. Fill it in a bit more. I love how you can play around with watercolour though. It's, you can take it away, you can add to it. I'm just fussing now. I'm fussing. gone quiet guys i'm sorry it's supposed to be a chatty video this and i'm just like uh, concentrating so hard <laughs> just realized i'm just like yeah i'm just concentrating i'm gonna pull in some of this color now to make all this a pale sort of pale gray to fill in with the And I want to soften this. I want to soften this bit in the middle. It's a bit too harsh. So I'm going to add some clean water. 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 Why is that bit loop pink? <laughs> Get off. Must admit, I must have some mucky water. Might need changing. But to be fair, I need a bit of pink actually. Let's get a bit of pink. He's got a little bit of pink round his eye. A bit of pinky white just under his eye. How cute are koalas? They're not up there on my favourite animal list, but they are cute. I'm going to put a touch of purple in the middle here as well. And a touch of it dotted around. His artwork's so colourful, like you'll see these pops of colours just everywhere randomly. I'm gonna put in some like a bit of green blue sort of shade. Um somewhere over here. Just a hint. Yeah. I'm just going to lift that pooling up. Cute. Let's carry on with his body. Can't wait for my daughter's leavers assembly. It's gonna be super cute. One of the teachers who she said she'll miss though. <laughs> I don't think she see she's too fussed about her actual class teachers, but she said I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss Stephen. Um he has a nickname called Fishy, apparently. I don't know why. 
but apparently his nickname's Fishy. <laughs> Um, she said, I'm going to miss Stephen. I said, oh, are you? I said, um, he's not your teacher though, is he? And she went, no, he's the bus register person. So when they get the transport into school, he's the one that stands ticking them all in as they're getting off transport. <laughs> she must she must have just took a shine into him. Hugging the flowers, this little koala. So cute. Clean my brush off and just trying. In fact, I'm going to put a little hint of this green just there. And then go spread it out. I think I'm gonna need to change my water. It's putting this colour onto onto it. I don't like. It's very mucky. Just noticed as well. I've missed a bit right in the corner here. Ah. That's the flower, isn't it? That little bit. Yeah, that's flower. These little feet, his little claws. I'm going to get some of that bluey and bluey tone in as well. Some of this here. Such a nice colour this one. Look how vibrant that is. And I'll just pull it out a little bit. So it's less pigmented. Go back in my grey. pink this is where you can start having fun building on all the little bits of pops of colour don't think I, I think I've just not really done much this week feels like I've been busy with the kids with different things unless I'm just forgetting what I've done in the week and what I've already spoke about <laughs> but I just feel like I've not really got anything interesting to say this week this week's whip. Happy whip weekend. Apart from my daughter had a transition at high school, so the two days um, she was there, I had to pick her up, where normally I don't because normally she gets transport bus home. But because this high school's only around the corner from where we live, um, I said I would pick her up. And one day, um, the Friday, she'd been on Thursday, I picked her up no problem. But on the Friday, at half past two, I go to the nursery to collect my little boy from nursery. And I was due, this day I was due to pick my daughter up from this high school at ten, ten past, quarter past two. Anyway, I'd completely forgot all about it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, there's too much going on in my brain. Completely forgot I had to pick her up that day. I'd gone to pick my son up from nursery, so I'd just pulled up on the nursery car park and then I saw a message um, from school, from Violet School, primary school, saying, will you please let me know when you've collected Violet, like from the high school. And I, well, I just went into panic mode. I was like, 
on the car park so I didn't even bother knocking on the nursery door for my son yet because I pick him up early anyway so I thought they won't mind keeping hold of him um, so I rushed back off the car park whizzed round to my daughter's high school to pick her up and bless her she got worked up I mean I was only 15 minutes late to put it into context I was only 15 minutes late but she was so she gets so panicked because of her autism but I'm not there on time so she was really panicked and a bit upset bless her naughty mummy but that's what happens when you've got when you're juggling everything and then something changes because it's you know it's not something I normally do picking her up from there and it was just the little the little change that threw me they weren't fussed. The high school wasn't fussed. Because obviously they stay open until um, about half past three anyway. So yeah, <laughs> that was my traumatic day. But then we went on the park after and all was good. She was happy as Larry. So I think that was, that, that was the only drama I've had this week. The only drama. I'm gonna put, yeah, get some of that green. Let's put some of this green in his leg up here. That's a nice green as well. I'm gonna soften it. Let's pull the colour around a bit. Ah, no! God, I need to go and change that mucky water, don't I? Really do. So that's that softening nicely. Let's get some more little bit of blue. I'm gonna have a pop of blue coming from around here, I think. Around here. Clean my brush. I enjoy doing this, it's just like, it's fun just mixing watercolours up and just randomly, don't have to be perfect, you don't have to claim you know what you're doing, just have fun with it, just put pops of colour down and have fun. <laughs> and if you don't like how it's turning out, you can always go in with pencils, can't you? So I'm going to fill in a bit of this white area now by dragging some of the grey into it so it's a pale grey in there, not stark white. That's better. Simmer in the eye. There. And up here on the ear. That's better. I'm not liking how harsh this bit looks here though. But I'm wondering if it's too late to soften that. It's not really reactivating the watercolour there for whatever reason. It doesn't want to lift up. Might have to add colour on top of it and then move that around before it fully dries sort of thing. Let's see if I can do that. You know, sort of add colour to move it around sort of thing. Don't know. better no it's not <laughs> she tried she tried didn't work oh well <laughs>
Right, let's get some more grains to the bottom of this body. Let's get this body finished. Doing too much fussing, aren't I? Little fuss pot. Oh, that's a bit of its body there, isn't it? In between all these leaves. So I had to tell sometimes, and then that's his fur there peeking out. Peeking out over here, you can see fur. Soften this bit before it sticks like that. have a look we need to go darker yeah yeah me like the silence today i'm being really quiet <laughs> i think i'm just enjoying my peace right, i've just dropped the kids off at school i've tidied around the house can you hear the bird yeah i've tidied around the house i've done the washing up i've been outside and made sure the plants have got enough water because it did rain a little bit earlier and then i've just sat down and i thought just have a little chill and I really am too chilled because I'm not even chatting I'm just like zoned out here zoned out guys if you came for the chat it's the long video <laughs> click on last week's video if you want the talking I think I was more chatty in last week's I think I had a lot to say last week <laughs> definitely more than this week Definitely. Sometimes you do though, don't you? It's often asked like, how do you, how do you prefer to unwind and do you like background noise? Do you like watching a film or DVD while you colour? Do you just like the silence? And um, as you can tell, I like the silence. <laughs> really do. Try and darken up over here. Although it was really resisting some of this paper. I'm wondering if it, it seems to be worse when I'm trying to go over the grayscale areas. I'm wondering if it's something to do with the ink or what it is, I don't know. I have no idea. Let's soften this.
I've just covered up my blue, haven't I? I did have a pop of blue there somewhere. <laughs> Let's put it back in. Like a blue, bluey green. Where's my little purple shade? I'm gonna put a bit of purple here. go let me take a step back and have a little look I'm gonna put a tiny bit just under this leaf and I'm gonna pull it down a bit to soften it might help if I add some water on my brush happy with that I just need to drag some of the grey onto his claws now because I've just not where's the colour gone I've not dragged the colour through his claws I think I'm happy with that I'll probably do a lot more fiddling later on because I just can't can't help myself. But <laughs> this is start. I've got to say I am more excited about doing all the florals and the um this butterfly here that's blending in. There's a lovely deep like indigo colours in that which I think will be really, really nice. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of pale just a little bit of pale pink around the background but nothing too much nothing too much so that's it I know I wasn't very chatty guys I don't know I think I was just chilling but hopefully you had something to colour and you was just chilling at the same time and had me on in the background or something like that um, <laughs> I wasn't very entertaining was I today but I enjoy like just just sitting here sometimes and um unwinding should we say unwinding and i like doing it with you guys i like doing it with you guys look at this where I've, I've done that with a slice tool by accident straight through my it's like, it's like a vinyl this there's a emergency vehicle go past on every of my every video of mine <laughs> noisy i apologize i apologize yeah but it's like a vinyl sticker this that i put over my table so i can put another fresh one over the top or peel this off and put another fresh one over the top but I accident accidentally did it with my slice, slice tool but it looks awful <laughs> it looks awful but yeah this is it it looks a bit patchy at the minute obviously it's not finished but um if we look at this I mean his is so much better but it is sort of this patchy patchy sort of patchiness to it I've just noticed he's got a hint He's got a hint of yellow in the ear up there, which might add in. And then it's a bit of orange yellow there around the chin, but I've sort of put loads of grey in there. I can't really see it anymore unless I try. There's a bit of yellow around the eye as well, which I can put in over the top. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad. It's all right. <laughs> So thanks for catching up with me guys, not much to catch up on, but thank you so much for hit stopping by. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.